Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys my home gym. This is where I work out when I don't go to my public gym. Let's get started. Okay guys, so first I'm gonna start off with my dumbbells. It's not a commercial gym, so I don't have all the dumbbells, but for space reasons too, I have the Bowflex dumbbells, five to 52.5 pounds. They are really well made. I've had them for like two, three years now. No problems, never anything happened to them. They're very well built. The only thing is, I wish they were maybe made a little shorter. When it gets to the heavier weights, it would be nice if it was a little more compacted. Works really well. Hey guys, these are my Paralettes. I've had them for about two years, no problems. They're homemade, as you can see. You can do wall handstand push-ups, normal push-ups. You can get creative with them. Really fun piece of equipment. This is my adjustable bench. Um, this is really used for the dumbbell work. It's really great. I've had it like three years. What I like about this one in particular, it goes decline and all the way up to standing straight 180 degrees incline. Seat also moves, works really well. Really recommend this bench. So here because we don't have cables, I have resistance bands because there's no room for a cable machine mostly in, uh, in this basement. But um, I have 20, 40, and 60 pounds right here. Um, you could do a lot of different variations. A lot of different things. I have the handlebar grips. I have over there the tricep grips. Um, yeah, another really good piece. We also have the Rogue Fat Bench. The best, one of the best benches I've ever used. Really good stability. It's built like a monster. It's overbuilt. It, if you're looking for a bench, get this bench. This rack I have is great. It's, um, it's a generic rack from a sporting goods store, but um, a lot of positives about it. No need to bolt it to the ground. It's really stable. Um, it has great pull-up bars. A fat bar right here makes the grips a lot harder. When you come over here, you have the multi-grip bar for wide, close, really any grip you want. Here we have the Xmark dip station. This thing, if you want a dip station, this would be the one to get. It's um, very structurally built. I've done heavy weighted dips. I've done abs on here. I've done things on here that would make this thing shake. It doesn't shake. Very well built. If you want a dip station, go get the Xmark. Here I have the slingshot. Another, um, just an extra tool I use. It's meant for overloading bench. It gets your bench stronger, it gets you used to heavy weights quicker. Um, I've used it and I've seen improvement in my bench within a couple of weeks. Just an accessory, accessory rack with some extra things on it. I have bands to stretch with. Like I said, I have the other resistance bands, resistance wraps. Um, I have some extra things here, just random 20s. I have over here my Olympic curl bar. It fits Olympic weights on here. I've had this for three years, about two, three years. No problems. You can see no rust, no, um, nothing's wrong with these bars. And with these bars, I've never maintained, I never um, shined them or anything. I've never had problems with them going bad or um, rusting. So these bars I have, I have, this is, they're cap bars. They're made by cap. And um, this is the beast bar. That, the deadlifting one I have over there is the lumberjack bar, which you'll see. That both very great bars. You know, generic 45 pound bars. The curl bar is about 25, 20 something pounds. All great. Here I have as my cardio equipment the Royal Gecko bike. It is the best cardio equipment you can get for a home gym. It's very overbuilt, very sturdy. It's um I've had it about a year and a half now, probably get it going on two, not not in too long. It's um, no problems ever. It's belt driven, so you're really not gonna have to ever maintain it. Compared to its competitor, the Assault Bike, in my opinion, this is the best one that I've used. It's the most structurally sound. 
if you're going to get a, um, a cardio bike, treadmill, out of all the categories, I would say this is the one to go with. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video of my gym tour. It's um pretty, you know, basic setup. I have everything you really need to build to build a good physique. I'm probably going to try to improve on it in the future, add some things I don't have here and there. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.